And we're back with more of Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. GTN 2002 here once again with... Hector Dark One. So, we're marching west back to Egros after being successful in the Sand Rat Cellar. Let's see if we get to Garland. And you'll notice we're flat broke. We bought a lot of new gear. We made it to Garland. Let's see if we can get to Egros that instant. Okay. Slight dial-up noise here, so we got past. Thanks, Rams, and Mr. Dial-up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Dialed up some plot. We did. We've only got 31 gil. We have little money. We're so broke. That... Why did you go to Zeklos? Nope. We disobeyed orders. Crap. Oh, boy. Explain to me. Tell you that takes the fall. Yeah. Fall guy. Is that true? Nah, it was my decision. I blatantly disobeyed orders. I protect me. I decided to ignore an order. Yep. Everyone acted lawlessly. How could Stop law? Stop that and screen, screen cap that. Oh. Second. Because as much as I hate to say it, January 6th. <laughs> yep, the day the Let's Play started. Nice and dark is the way. I'm sure the importance of observing the law. Ain't true. No, I'm trying to purify that name and put fear into the. Are you trying to? Sorry. I'm sorry, brother. That's, that's oh. quite enough, Dice Dog. Larg! It was a great help in rescuing the Maricus. I know how young soldiers are. They're eager to succeed. So are we, you know. <laughs> Spoiled all that milk. Spoiled. No, oh, I know what the next episode's gonna be called. Anyway, <laughs> so your dice dogs are the weather. Relax. It's exactly like the late General Baldwin's. Fine-looking young man. I thought we were doing the dialogue in this series. Well, he is a prince. I'm sure the youthful energy didn't just come from guarding a castle. <laughs> come on, loosen up. Yay! We can join the mission! Oh. We're bringing the action to the enemy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Don't apologize, Dice Dog. After all, Gustav wasn't much of a soldier. <laughs> Plan couldn't have been changed after the Marcus was kidnapped in Corona anyway. Bleh! Is Lark's plot all along? <sighs> Bastard. Besides, we did save Marcus's life. We must accept our demands now. The brother's actions may have actually turned the tide for us. Uh-oh. Counting on you, my friend. Ta -da. Sus. Oh, this is all sus. Just Super sus. There's imposters everywhere. I see two imposters. Did the prince just vent? I'm pretty sure <laughs> Lord just vented. How else did he get in here? So uh, let's see what's for sale in the shop. Did we get a discount for this home? No. Right. Swords. Oh, knife. I have a blind knife. Uh, armor. Mmm, night gear upgrades. I did say night. Or get. I just buy one of each. Don't bother. No, you don't need to. Buy them after. 
Well, the bronze helmets are getting upgraded to iron. So I can sell that one. Sell linen robes? No, linen robes are top tier. Suggestion. A little bit of guild grinding box. Definitely. This is going to be a shorter episode, JT. Wow. We've been here five minutes? We'll call this a check-in episode. Yeah. We've discovered we have little money and need to fix this. Yes, we have a major problem having uh, our war funds have been heavily depleted by the current expedition out to Zeklos Desert. A little bit. So, we are will not be going down to Thieves' Fort anytime soon. Right. We also might need to uh, get some skills in a thief for that battle. <clears throat> right. So, um, we're going to unsour this milk and we'll be back after a little bit of grinding and some time in the war room. See you next time. Time for some cheese. Bye-bye.